Are we gonna be able to do it? Alright, so this first part of the Xerath movie happens just a little bit beforehand. All rise! Yes, get your popcorn out. Tell the people All right. what you have seen today. We did it. Life and death inexorably into war. Let's go. This is awesome. All right, so that was Azir, level 2. Nasus, level 2. Sun Disk. Connected, level 2. Die. To the only true Azir, level three. Nasus, level three. <laughs> this is great. Redacted, level three. All right, that was awesome. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for an Ascended's Rise deck. We got Mono Shirima Buried Sun Disk with, with Ascended Champions. We're gonna have all four Ascended Champions, Azir, Renekton, Zareth, and Nasus. And the goal of our deck is to try to get all four in play. So basically it's meme tier day, right? So it's not always, a, it's not going to be just about winning, but with the person that built this deck and donated for it, they want to see all four in play. And then we cast Ascended's Rise to level up all four of them. And then of course, um, that will uh, uh, level up our buried sun disc. We'll get the countdown. And so we'll get the animation for restoring the Sun Disk, which will then get all of our champions to level three. So that's the goal, is to get the full Shurima movie experience with having all four of our champions level up and Sun Disk and then um, all of them to level three. Now that's going to be difficult to do, of course. And so therefore, we're going to try to not level up our champions beforehand. We want to level them all up together if we can you know, if, if we can get everything to work out uh, properly. So that's gonna be our goal. Um, as far as, so that means we're gonna need to like get our, our champions in play, we're gonna need to protect them. We're gonna have Soothsayer with Spell Shield, we're gonna have Ancient Hourglass, be able to protect them uh, from, you know, challengers and that kind of stuff. We'll have a couple copies of Ride Negation. And then we'll also be able to make them larger. We're gonna have Golden Ambassador, drawing our champions, granting them plus two, plus two. And then Xenotype Researcher just kind of in here, randomly granting some of our allies plus three, plus three, hopefully hitting some of our champions. We draw them later. Now they're bigger. Now they're harder to kill and, and so on. So we want to uh, hopefully get all four of them in play. Hopefully that happens one time in five games. We're going to be playing in five games. Um, you know, it may not, but that's going to be the goal of our deck. All right. So let's go ahead and play some Ascended's Rise. Here we go. Nami Riven using the blades to be able to give the plus two plus one with Nami. That's probably going to be pretty good. All right, we'll send all of these back. Cool, cool, cool. So zero zero first game. Uh, we did play a game that was going to be awesome. We had triple Xenotype researchers that we played around three, four, five, but then our opponent just our Viego opponent just conceded for no reason. So. Didn't get to really count that game. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and do this. I'm thinking about like saving it for after Xenotype Researchers. Alright, gonna grab a Golden Ambassador. We can play that on four. I'll just pass here. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. To serve the greater good. See the world from behind a basket. Alright, we'll be able to do some predicting. 
Later on, alright, well, we already got three of our four champions. Oh, that was not. Bask in the sunlight! What the warrior but comes to wield the weapon? The heart and mind. Man, that's a that's a rapport chant right there. If I've ever seen one. That is a reforge. The slaughter will never end! He's with us, right? Hmm, I hope so. Cool. Alright, so he wastes five mana. Ah, it seems to me. Nasus this round and then Rise plus the Earth next round. But I guess to be fair, we have to get this Buried Sun to be as well. We're a little ways away from being able to do that. So let's go ahead and just go Chrono Lancer. Azir. Look, I've made a breakthrough. Alright. Okay, okay. Show us what you can do. Hey! Our opponent doesn't kill us too quickly. Excuse us. Don't touch it. We're getting there. I will fashion this world in my image. So pretty. Please don't kill us. Do do. Please don't kill us. Do do. It's as though I never left a millennium ago. You are just as the stories tell, curator. Commence operations. We cover Moonstone. I kind of, I kind of have to do this to kill the Riven. Then I won't be able to go a, Z, a zero plus Ascendant's Rise next round. Cause, oh yeah, cause we're trying to do all four champions. So that, that's, that's why I didn't just play like a zero Ascendant's Rise this round. With the sun disc, because that would only be three. We're trying to do all four. What are you waiting for? Chase them down. The goal is to do all four at the same time. We're not necessarily trying to win. We're trying to do whatever we can to get all four of these with the ascended rise at the same time. That's going to be really tough. We're one mana short. And they're just going to kill us, aren't they? I sense their power. Why so aggressive? The cost of war. But yeah, I guess the Ascendant's Rise last round would have been the best option. Okay, well, good game. We are close. We are real close to doing all four. One day they will suffer. <clears throat> okay, so we got Ascendant's Rise, Nasus, those two. I think we're sending Nasus back. So we can probably find a new Nasus. I know, right? Phone had no chill. That's alright, that's... They're gonna do what they're gonna do. We have to just hope to stay alive a little better. Let's get blockers. Ooh, this is a tough choice. I kinda like grabbing another Xenotype. But this could, you know, we don't have any champions, so Zier could be at least the first champion. We should probably grab him here. Always rely on you to keep us safe. The first of four. <laughs> I 
That would have been a good movie, though, last game, if I if we would have just played Azir, then played Ascend of the Rise and leveled up three champions. It's, that would have been good. But I was told, got a gun. <laughs> I was told we gotta try to level up all four. That's our that's our goal. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Cause even getting the Yeah, because we would have leveled up Renekton. Let's cook them. They would have dealt two damage to all their stuff. Yeah, that would not have been bad. Okay. Let's just turn it like get a couple so. attacks in. Yelling that he is. is that is that you? You're not I should make a speech. Yeah. Where's my speech? Pops in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. Okay, we got the Zara that's also the one of. So we got the two one ofs. Hang on. <laughs> We're rolling. Look, a thing. Elf, wow. it's not ours. Some people are so mean. Your devotion gives the city life! Serving land? Don't touch that! Step away! We got a Renekton. Got three of our four champions. I save the spell man for the quicksand. Okay, we got all of our champions. Now we just need um, Ascended's Rise. Listen to me. Need to clear up this room. Have stuff die anyway. Charima, your emperor has returned, and with him, uh, our that's the Nasus. Oh, I will let the bloody path through Charima. He has cleared right, the way. We find our one of Nasus. Two ascendants rise. Okay, there's the Nasus. these multiple quicksands awesome yeah their their board's just full they, they're like look at their hand they're like eh, this isn't really that great to play okay cool ancient hourglass protects good 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 now we just have to find ascendance rise yeah it may it may happen that we level up Zareth. i don't want to of course but it just may happen yeah we can we can have the the one preservarium over override the other one. Does mean that we draw one less card, so that if we don't find a senate, you know, it's going to be more difficult to find a senate to rise now. Progress 
Alright, come on, please draw Ascendance Rise. Please, 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 Ascendance Rise. No! Wrong seven mana card. Why is Aloof Travelers a thing? Uh, got rid of our Ascendance Rise. Please play something, opponent. Please play something. No, what are you doing? Some spirits are fated to burn. Glorious battle! Sedition! Your time is done. There's no way to have... There's no way to have things not die to, um... To, like, two, two damage removal spell. Why am I taking so much? Oh, that thing's got that also. Yeah. Yeah, Zareth and Azir are both going to level, right? Or I guess just Zareth would level. Like, even best case scenario, Zareth levels first, so we're not going to be able to have it be full movie best case scenario. Worst case scenario, we die to a Pokemon stick. I mean, I guess I could have blocked one of these. Just let us do it. If they leave you, they can be broken. You never. Are we gonna be able to do it? Unlimited power, mind to control. Alright, so this first part of the Xerath movie happens just a little bit beforehand. On. All rise! Yes, get your popcorn out. Tell the people All right. what you have seen today. We did it. Life and death inexorably into war. Let's go. This is awesome. All right, so that was Azir level two, Nasus level two, Sun Disc. Connected, level two. There is level three. Azir, level three. Nasus, level three. <laughs> this is great. Red at level three. Alright, that was awesome. See, look how cool the border is for the level three champions, also. I need this Rhine Negation to cost one less mana to protect me from Pokestick. And they're playing Bilgewater. Alright, Renekton has Overwhelm. This would, you know, kill them. Nasus is 21 power. And Fearsome. Oh, they can block Fearsome right there. Wait, oh, I was thinking they couldn't block Fearsome. I guess that thing Just does get blocked. Just kill me. Hey. 
Yes, please make that block. Okay, spell shield. We did it! Yes! Yeah! I enter eternity with my face towards the sun. Alright, we did it! The movie fried the opponent's mind. Yeah, maybe it did. Alright, we really did it. I'll send them all back. That was pretty awesome. Okay, let's grab another Xenotype Researchers. Deal against this... Like this against this Jarvan Taric deck, we're gonna need some size. My journey begins here and ends at the top. I can do this. Okay. I never said you couldn't. There we go. That quick yeah, quicksand's definitely a card I wanted to see. It. Break their spirits and their souls. So that grants plus zero, plus two. We don't have that many more units left in our deck, you know, right? Like, there's not a ton of units in our deck. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. No time to rest. Positive affair. Excuse us. Got that thing. Our behavior. I'll get us to the peak, no matter what it takes. Yeah, they're gonna be buffing stuff as well. So I kinda wanna take the Zareth so that we have three of our champions. We already have Ascended Ascended's Rise. I think I may just pass though. Yeah, I guess the movie require the move for the movie we have to take Zareth. We could also find, like, Gold Ambassador that makes it bigger, but all right. Look, all right, I've all made right. a breakthrough. All right. Show us what you can do. You never forgot us. We will not forget you. Breaker. Indeed, I am both. Stay focused. Aha! Unyielding. I don't really see how we're going to be able to pull this one off. I'm been trying to figure it out. I don't really see how it's going to work. The cycle begins anew. We need to get a lot luckier with our Xenotype researchers hitting anything. And they haven't hit a single card. Oh, of course. They hit that Nasus after I play this Nasus. Jerima, your Emperor has returned. I offer my service, Undying One. We renew our pledge to Shorima. Good. Now we turn our sights to further shores. Yeah, we needed to draw like this Nasus and Gold Ambassador the previous rounds, right? We need to play this like round five or now. round six. Like, yeah, that would have been nice. And then like this bigger Nasus. Positive fair. Yeah, I mean, well, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. The Renekton's a six-six. We're dead here. Uh -huh. Never submit. Game's over. Goes hungry. There is nowhere left to go but up. It's obviously that their deck just is filled with pump spells, right? Like they're a Taric deck. 
they're going to have a pump spell. I can't block all of them. Our Azir and our Nasus die, and so our chance is gone. And we show like the best, the best possible that we can do is this, uh, that, you know, that. You try my patience. Yeah, Don't like that. touch it. That's the best possible we can do. Should mean rally. And gods. We are proud to share it with you. Huh. No rally. It's on the battlefield. Please let me cast this. Hope crystallizes. So they, yeah, they could have played that Just previously on the warships to kill me. Hardly fair. All right, one of these. Challengers are a big problem for us. We basically only have the hourglass to protect against the challengers. But we had a good opener with the xenotypes. They just didn't hit anything to help us, and that was unfortunate. Hourglass is going to be a really good card against a deck that has a lot of removal. Hey, Treasure Seeker. You gotta be wary of... Go get this shiny we gotta be wary of Aftershock. They probably play like one Aftershock. Hourglass does make an exact copy. So the Xenotype Researchers will come back as a 3-1. Uh, I like this, though. I like Xenotype into Golden Ambassador. That's This is really what we want with the Boogie's hand. This is, this is basically our ideal hand. Xenotype into Golden Ambassador. With the out with two mana for hourglass. Is key. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Time for a true display of skill. Quick to the world below. That's not tamer proof. Do need an ascendance rise. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. I think we have something on that case. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Don't touch it. Nailed it. 
Oh, that's not very good for life. Renekton plus Soothsayer or Nessus? The cycle begins anew. I do have the exact amount of mana for Renekton plus Ascended's Rise. The Oasis of the Dawn flows again. As it did so many years ago. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Gotta try to kill this shell folk so they don't have infinite cards. The cycle halts for no one. Firing! Okay. So Ezreal's still about to level up, but at least they won't have infinite cards now. Maybe we draw quicksand. Okay. That's not bad. One shot, all skill. That's not bad at all. That'll stop me from getting hit by Ezreal. Then I have five mana left. Some spirits are fated to burn. A couple ancient hourglasses. Available still. I know about one ancient hourglass. What do they discard? They discard another Poro Cannon, so this conchologist, whenever they had the curious shuffle can play, made Poro Cannon. We may have to just ascend its rise with only Renekton and Nasus in play to let if we want to win the game. Yeah, these two have the best level three. They'll they they'll win the game on their own for sure. So like, if we want to win the game, we can play this. It's not going to be the quad movie, but what do you think? Do we do it? Because I don't know if we'll ever draw the other champions, and we're sitting at an Ezreal that's going to kill us. So should we try to win the game, or? Oh, that's not even going to level up the Sun Disk. That's not actually going to level up the Sun Disk, is it? All right, chat says go ahead and try it out. No, Mini Morph doesn't exist. No, that that card doesn't exist. See, why'd you have to say it? <laughs> no, you have to you have to have those cards not exist. Yeah, burst speed, mini morph. Pretty sad. 
burst speed is kind of rough. So that will that will resummon. That will resummon that thing, which will give this Renekton spell shield. game's over now with Ezreal, Kira, Shellfolk. These all doing one damage and everything. So we can just click OK and watch them win, but this game's over. Yeah, if it wasn't burst speed, we'd be able to yeah, ride negation or ancient hourglass and try to save, but burst speed. Can't do anything about it. But, you know, we kind of had to go for it because, yeah, we were dying this round. Back it up. Play these spells. GG's. Glorious battle. Man, we were actually pretty close there. Yeah, I have to open attack, but there's no way to stop me from dying, right? No mercy. I don't think there really is. Chase them down. Face your end. So if they have if they have two spells to cast. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, I mean, but they, yeah, they have all their, they have all these right negations and everything. We needed one quicksand during this game to kill that Ezreal. That Ezreal just dealt, you know, 20 damage to us. They played it on round three and we could never kill it. I did have the ability to kill it with the siphoning strike from earlier, but if we killed the Ezreal, then the shell folk would have drowned us out. It was, that was a tough call. Simon said, outside of main decks, is level 3 Xerath good enough to try to have in a deck? I think you can. Yeah, I think you can do... You can you can build around that. Uh, yes. We did play Katarina Xerath, which, which was all Shirima, besides just... Um, sorry. It was all Shirima besides just Katarina. And that deck actually performed pretty well. And so I could see you going, like, Sundisk... Try to get level three um, Zareth instead of playing Katarina. Yeah, level three Zareth is pretty strong. All the champions level three pretty strong, but Zareth's the easiest out of all of them to level up. More than one way to pick a pine cone. I'll show you. I think we just send this back. Unless we want. I don't want to back. Ever woke you up. Unless we want like. A second Nasus for the siphoning strike. Focus using 
multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised. Looks like we got the second assist anyway. My shield is yours. Yeah, if I would have played the the two rounds, before, not that very last round, but the round before that, if I we would have pressed very important and attacking, we would have grabbed the Renekton spell. Low, send them sky high. I'll make you proud. Maybe just grab a one mana five four. Man, I wish I knew which one Zareth was doing the damage to. Oh, it's going to be the, the Fleet Feather Tracker, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was saying they're both 2 1, so I don't know which one, but this one costs 2, this one costs 1. Because, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to kill that Fleet Feather Tracker so they can't challenge. Camby! Gifting out a sub to Tired Jace. Thank you so much for the su gifted sub. Tried. Trick is way hard. Don't touch that. We got it first. And Amir, three seven for the third month. Thank you, Amir. I appreciate that as well. All right, so no. No move, no four movie gonna be able to happen. Here I am. Wherever here is. Through death, growing power. Oh, that's good. Send them sky high. I'll make you proud. They would have had the Lulu support the Owl Cat. They would have had Lethal, but I didn't do that. So that's good. That's good. Life and death. Need to keep on drawing Nasus over and over. will be over quicker and you can fry a ferret. It's possible. Not likely, but it's possible we could come back. Oh, I measured. I know we usually want to wait to try to get the whole movie, but of course we can't with... Um... Okay. The expanse of eternity stretched out before With the Zareth already dead. Give them all minus minus one minus zero power. We heal our nexus two at the beginning of the round. This is our way to get this five two to be in play for a blocker. Fascinating device. Yeah, 
Yeah, Poppy's pretty busted. Yeah, that plus one Poppy buff. Yep. Poppy pretty busted. And so we take exact lethal. Yeah, I guess this is exact lethal. Hmm. So close. Someday you see. Us. Exact lethal because of the impact one. Okay. I have to say, I was actually kind of impressed by our deck. So, yeah, we went one and four, but that was like, I think the record doesn't indicate like what our deck was doing honestly because we play like especially some of those earlier games especially like the the first one that we lost i think we that we would have won if we would have just played the like i, I really think we would have won that game if we would just played a zero into ascendance rise but we were we were playing specifically to try to get all four of the ascended allies and play with the sun disc but i think that we could have you know like definitely that first one and maybe one other maybe like the second loss i think we could have maybe uh you know play differently to just win the game with Ascendant's Rise, and I think that we, you know, could have done okay with that. But yeah, like, the Ascendant's Rise with these champions does look pretty good, especially with Renekton and Nasus with Ascendant's Rise. I could actually see that being a pretty decent deck of, like, kind of just building around Renekton and Nasus and Ascendant's Rise right now. Ascendant's Rise actually looks strong. Like, this is a card, like, I haven't really played too much Ascendant's Rise in my other Buried Sun Disc decks, but I actually think that it looked really good. It would could steal games and just turning your champions to be level three. I actually really like this card. I did. Uh, quicksand was amazing for us, but we just needed more. <laughs> you know, we needed more quicksands. Um, yeah, I would like I would like more quicksands. Riot negation didn't look that good, but you know, again, we were just trying to just protect our champions for that. But it just our our opponents were able to play around it, or or there were just matchups where it wasn't necessary. Um, but yeah, I think that there's some, there's some cool stuff there. I liked it. All right. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always leave those comments. We did get the movie once we got, uh, you know, we had all four champions in play and got to ascend its rise. That was the game that we won. That was pretty awesome. Um, but you know, it's tough to, tough to pull off, <laughs> but we did, we did get to do it once. All right, but that's going to be it for uh, the Ascendants Rise deck. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.